It's amazing to think that just five years ago, Samsung was the one who kickstarted the foldable revolution. Despite a rocky start, it was truly remarkable to witness a major OEM like Samsung taking a risk and transforming what were once just concept devices into products that are now found on every carrier shelf in the US. It was a bold move that inspired many others to follow in Samsung's footsteps. However, over the past five years, Samsung seems to have become more comfortable, playing it safe while its Android competitors have become more scarce. The Galaxy S24 Ultra resembles the S23 Ultra, which resembles the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and so on. With the first leaks of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 now surfacing, I can't help but wonder if the Samsung of today would have ever ventured into foldable gadgets without someone else leading the charge. As gadget enthusiasts, especially those of us in the tech press community, it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of expecting new smartphone designs every year. However, when it comes to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it may not necessarily need a drastic change in appearance. After all, what more can be done to the core design of a modern smartphone? While individual users may have specific preferences, the overall design has been refined over the past decade. On the other hand, foldables are a different story. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 may not look significantly different from its 2019 predecessor, but there is still plenty of room for experimentation to find the perfect form factor for this device class. The fact that clamshell and book-style foldables are distinct from each other, despite using the same core technology. Unfortunately, it seems that Samsung is hesitant to venture into new territory. The leaked renders of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 show a smartphone that seems uninterested in embracing generational changes. The edges have been squared off to match the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus, and the overall dimensions suggest a slight change in the shape of the 6.2-inch covered display. Whether these changes will make it feel modern compared to what Google and OnePlus have in store remains to be seen. The size of the screen is not the only factor to consider. According to early leaked dimensions, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to have a similar thickness to its predecessor. The Z Fold 5 measured 6.1 mm when unfolded and 13.4 mm when closed, which aligns with the reports from OnLeaks and Smart Pricks. If this information holds true, the Z Fold 6 will remain one of the thickest foldable devices on the market when closed. It will be bulkier than last year's OnePlus Open and Pixel Fold, and about 3 mm thicker than the leaked dimensions for the upcoming Pixel Fold 2. When you add all of this together, it's disappointing to see that Samsung, the company that introduced the original Galaxy Fold, hasn't shown the same level of experimentation and innovation in these leaks. Where is that sense of pushing boundaries that Samsung was known for in the 2010? Instead, the Z series seems to be stuck in a monotonous cycle, barely evolving with each new generation. Last year, we saw three different foldable devices with unique designs enter the US market, providing Samsung with some real competition for the first time. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 may have felt like the most refined option among them, but considering its rivals were releasing first-generation hardware to compete against a fifth revision, that level of refinement should be expected. Samsung should be far ahead of its competitors, to the point where they shouldn't even be competing on the same level. As we dive deeper into the New Year's lineup of devices, it's hard to muster up excitement for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Minor tweaks just won't cut it when competitors like OnePlus and Google are pushing the boundaries of hardware innovation. And let's not forget about sleek contenders like the Honor Magic V2, ready to take the global stage. It's a series of devices that seem to exist in their own little bubble, resistant to change while others continue to exceed expectations. In essence, Samsung is starting to feel a lot like Apple in today's tech landscape. However, Samsung doesn't have the luxury of a fan base that will blindly support unchanged hardware year after year, especially in the rapidly evolving world of foldables. Even though it still leads the pack among Android manufacturers, its market share dwindles a little more each year. Just last week, we discovered that the iPhone claimed the top seven spots in global smartphone sales for the first time ever. And if Apple ever decides to enter the foldable market, which rumors strongly suggest they're working on, Samsung will once again find itself playing catch-up, scrambling to release a device that can finally rival its biggest competitor. This wouldn't be the first time Samsung has taken on the role of a follower. The company's boldness in introducing fresh designs and groundbreaking concepts in the smartphone realm seems to have vanished, replaced by a series of uninspiring decisions made in corporate boardrooms and tested to death. 
This aversion to risk has also put Android in a precarious position, as it increasingly relies on innovative hardware like foldables to attract potential iOS users and prevent Apple from monopolizing the premium smartphone market. Samsung is known for pushing the boundaries when it comes to design, especially with their foldable phones. While we may be seeing a trend towards a familiar look, I believe there's still room for innovation. Perhaps Samsung is saving their best designs for a more premium model. While some sources claim that the Z Fold 6 will inherit the powerful cameras of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, a new report suggests otherwise. According to Galaxy Club, Samsung is currently testing a 50-megapixel primary camera for the Z Fold 6, similar to the Z Fold 5. There's a possibility of switching to a 200-megapixels camera later, but for now, the plan seems to stick with the current setup. The Z Fold 6 may also retain the 12 megapixels ultra-wide, 10 megapixels covered display front camera, and 4 megapixels under display camera. Details on the zoom camera are scarce, but it's likely to feature the same 10 megapixels 3x optical telephoto as the Z Fold 5, keeping the high-end zoom capabilities exclusive to the Galaxy S Ultra series. Given the form factor limitations, it wouldn't be surprising if Samsung opts for a familiar camera configuration to avoid compromising the design with a bulkier build. Meanwhile, Samsung has just unveiled its first foldable and rollable tablet in a recent patent. The patent, simply called Display Device, introduces an innovative design for a compact tablet that combines both a traditional foldable hinge and an extendable rolling display. While we have seen these concepts separately, this is the first time they have been integrated into a single device. Taking a closer look at the illustrations, we can observe that the device resembles a Galaxy Z Fold from the side and back, with the exception of the cameras being positioned on the non-hinge side. However, the front of the device is quite different, as it lacks a covered display. Upon opening the device, a large inner display is revealed. This screen can then be extended on one side using its rollable mechanism. This unique combination allows for various usage modes, such as small and large screen options when unfolded, or a small vertical segment of the display when folded. The latter mode could be useful for checking notifications or interacting with widgets without the need to fully open the device, similar to the smaller cover displays found on devices like the Galaxy Z Flip 5. This year, we should see the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6, and perhaps the aforementioned triple foldable if the rumors are true. So, what are your thoughts on Samsung's latest foldable renders, which also looks like the last gen? Share in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.